live and we are gonna get going here in just a second where we're gonna break down some fun things but today i have justin silverio with open letter marketing did i say that last name right please tell me you i did, did. perfect okay okay perfect, okay man. and so while we're waiting here to get some people on um something that i really would love for you guys to do is throughout this feel free to ask questions i want you to feel like this is not just a one-sided conversation with me and justin but if you have questions uh, we're going to be talking about just just marketing management in general. That's one of the biggest headaches. In fact, if I had to think of <laughs> one of the most frequently asked questions that I always get, it's like, is there a better way to manage marketing? Like, this is the stupidest waste of my time. It has yeah. to be done. It's necessary, but it's uh, it's like a brain suck. And so um, we have Justin here that's going to help us unfold a little bit about managing your marketing and how to do it effectively so that it doesn't have your time suck and your brain suck. Like it's going to be something that's going to help you just get out there and do deals and let some software take over some of this so that you can just, uh, like I said, get out there and start doing deals. So Justin, tell us a little bit about yourself. And by the way, what I love about Justin is he's not just a, a guy that understands marketing management he also is an investor so this is something that i love it's not just a, a software out there but it's it's a software designed to uh make his own personal wholesaling business better so that's that's one quality i love but tell us a little bit about yourself where you're located and what got yeah. you into real estate and what got you into thinking about how to make your life easier with this software sure so thanks thanks first off thanks for uh, having me on cody appreciate it Dude, it's an uh, honor. It's always it's a way. If there's always a way where we can help people. That's what we're here for. So I feel Absolutely. like that's something you can definitely do. So first and foremost, like you said, I started as an investor and I still am an investor. Uh -huh. um, and open letter marketing was born just because I wanted to fill my own need and a solution for the issues that I was having. And when I started off and I still do a lot of renovations and what I found is that I always did direct to seller marketing, direct mail. I love direct mail because I was always the one that was in charge of my lead flow. Yeah. Right. I'm not relying on anybody else. It's all up to me. If I want to get more lead flow, send out more mail. If I want to shorten it up, send less. But it was always a struggle of just managing my leads, right? When you get undeliverables or people say, take me off your list. Now you have different lists and trying to make sure that they don't get back on your list when you send out additional marketing. Like it was a nightmare. Right. So I laugh because you're just like you're explaining my whole story. <laughs> it, everybody's like this. It's everyone's like this. So, um, you know, naturally, as I, I and I've been an investor since 2010. OK, um, so I've you know had a, a long time to figure things out. And I love efficiency like that's if, you, if I can, if there is efficiency to be had, I will find it because and because uh, I just like leveraging off that stuff. Sure. So I can really focus on what's important, making money. Um, so as I go through these different steps, I found that there are different ways, tactical ways to, um, you know, get yourself more known than your competition, um, different mar direct mail strategies. And I was doing things that nobody else was doing. And I was yeah. using products and creating products that nobody else offered. So there was a huge void in the market. So once I saw that, I was like, well, I know this stuff is working well for me. Let me start offering um, other people around the country, real estate investors specific, because I know the what, the where, the how, the why, everything works. Yeah. I'm testing in my own business before I can recommend anything. Yeah. And, yeah. And just similar to like the direct mail and everything that we provide, the software came into uh, play about a year, year and a half ago. Like I had like a crazy ninja Excel sheet that I created because my background's in accounting. So I knew Excel really well. But then I found a lot of my customers had the same issues that I was having. Yeah. And I wanted to provide the same valuable stuff that I was doing to them and get them up to speed really quickly. But Excel really isn't that smart. Um, right. There's there's limitations to that. Well, there's not just limitations. Let's be honest. Someone like me, like a personality. I, I don't even know what Excel is. Like yeah. people are like, oh, you just do this. You add a column, you add a row. I'm like, I don't even know what a column and a row is. Like, yeah. let's talk yeah, a little cool. bit more granular in this. Like Excel doesn't work for me. It's it's so true. And like having a very easy user friendly, um, you know, place where people can go in and just get what they need done and it to work really easily. Yeah. That was the big thing. So a little over a year ago, I set out to create a solution for a lot of my customers, myself included, um, to really make everything super easy. So 
I mean, you can create marketing campaigns and once you take somebody off your list, you don't have to ever want worry about them getting back into your list when you refresh the list. Yep. They'll always be kept off, um, right? The automation works, you'll get notifications so you don't forget to send out new direct mail or marketing, like just solve all those issues. Um, I, well, these are common ones. Like those are the, oh, those are the ones it's like, oh crap, I didn't send my marketing out this week. Or, yeah. oh man, how much time, or uh, let me tell you this, at the beginning, because I'm guilty of this, how much money did you just waste at the beginning stages of real estate? Because you're like, it was like almost too much work to find the people that had this, the, the, the mail that came back. Oh, you would leave oh, it in there. You're like, ah, I'm not going to do anything with it. I'm just going to mail it again. And all of a sudden the same yeah. mail is coming back. We found out like we were, we were shaving once we had Janet on our team, we were yeah. shaving like thousands of dollars of like wasted money yeah. because we were just simply mailing it out again and not taking them off the list. Or th right. these are just small little nuances that I know no, are some of my own problems. It's huge. There's two things. People with they what they do with return mail, throw it away and keep mailing like you were just saying, or they'll, they'll type everything in yeah. and try to skip trace it. But then they have a new mailing going out next week, but they haven't done their uh, undeliverables. So they'll delay their uh, next week's marketing. That's right, right. Hold off. So now, now they're not being consistent, which yeah. consistency is definitely like the number one most important thing is just being consistent. A hundred, a hundred percent. Well, I want to see, and we want to see what does it look like? Run us right. through like some of the things that you've been able to create that's allowed yeah. you to solve these headaches that every one of us have. Yeah, let's do it. All right. So you're seeing, um, you're seeing the dashboard right now. This is when you log on to Investor Hub. This is what you're going to see. So you'll see at a very high level, you know how many leads you have in the system, and um, super leads. So super leads we call when you import data into the system, uh -huh. to identify whether or not those property addresses are on multiple lists that you already have in the system. Okay. And bring them in, and once they get stacked on top of each other, we call them super leads. So Super can, leads and what I think the market is calling like stacking, right? Like yes, they're on a exactly. tax delinquent list, they're on a they're on a code violation list, they're on uh, whatever probate, and mm -hmm. they start to notice that oh my goodness, the same leads on three different lists, and yeah. so now it's a super lead is what you call it. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. So um, and then when you import, so the system does so many different things. It will identify super leads it'll remove duplicates within the list it'll remove duplicates within your system uh -huh. it will uh, scrub against the vacant usps vacancies okay it'll look for absentee owners it'll look for multiple property owners so those that own multiple properties yeah uh, does all of that just on import and then again on a monthly basis it's scrubbing all of your leads through a monthly vacancy check so every month you'll see that you'll have new vacancies yeah um and then one and of is the, that that's like an automated automated so if you you upload a list into here it not only knows what ones are super leads but it will you're saying it will also um go out against usps and find out which homes are vacant yes yes wow. okay okay and then one of the biggest things and unique things about our system is that one last thing wait hold yeah. on this is like intriguing me real quick justin so <laughs> does this replace do you know how people go out there to try and find just a vacant list? Like, yeah. and some people have a hard time in their market. Will this also, let's say the ones that are having a hard time in their market, because mm -hmm. this would, th I'm thinking of just students in general that I have that are like, I can't find this vacant list that you're talking about. Um, even in those markets, will that, will that do that? Yeah, this is, this is based on USPS. So okay. it's the actual mail carriers that are going around and they're seeing that people aren't taking their mail in for like weeks on end or nobody's been there. Yep. So they'll flag it as a vacant property. And that information goes back to the USPS and we have all that data. How hot is that versus like, I, I'm curious, just stat wise, is that any hotter quality list to you than lists that you've purchased that are called a vacant list? So this, we're getting it right from the, I always look at where are we getting the data? Are they the source? Yeah. Are they the source of the information. Yeah. This information right here is directly from the source of the USPS. Okay. So this is the data. Okay. The two different, the one difference is that we're scrubbing against the leads you're already providing to the data. Whereas if you go out and purchase a vacant list, now you're just doing it in the reverse order. 
Yeah. If you have the leads coming in, you're just specifically placing an order for vacant properties, um, which you can do in the system as well. If you want to pull just a vacant list, you can do that in the system. Yeah. 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 Okay. So that's um, that's where the vacancies are. One of the most exciting things that I really like is this lead, lead quality. So this might not seem like a big deal to many people because they're, so let's face it, most investors are not marketers, right? I mean, it takes a lot of time to get really good at marketing, to understand what you, where oh, you should your time. Hold on one sec. We have some comments going on. Hold hold for two seconds. <laughs> let's go. I let's had go one ahead. that just said the link to the password is password protected. Type in REFF, guys. Sorry about that. So on this, um, it like you see a link in there. It's password protected. Type in REFF. I should have uh, put in there below <laughs> that uh, link that that is the password, REFF, and you're able to go in there. Sorry. Keep going, Justin. All right. <laughs> Um, so yeah, lead quality is one of the most important things because when you really think about it, let's say you have, right, I have in my system, I have 20,000 leads, Okay. but I have some leads that I know aren't going to be as good quality as other leads, right? My super leads that a lead that's on multiple lead lists, yep. they might be on driving for dollars, absentee, uh, probate, deceased, whatever it is. Yep. And then I have another lead that might just be on an equity list. The quality of those two leads is, com is different much different, right? My super leads is, is going to be that lead that's on multiple li lead lists. That's a much better lead than one that's on just equity list. That's right. So that information is hugely valuable because I want to market a lot more and spend focus my time on those really quality leads versus just everything the same way. So and do you suggest when you're saying that, are you saying one that's a super lead, one that's on multiple list? they're going to get a different marketing campaign or a different marketing cycle that maybe yes. you're going to spend a little bit higher dollar amount marketing yes. versus the ones that are just high equity. Maybe you start with a lower uh, cost effective marketing yes. uh, uh, campaign. That's exactly how I run my marketing. So okay. instead of spending 100% of my marketing budget evenly across all my leads, I might spend 60% of my budget on my high quality, 30% of my medium quality, 10% of my low quality. Okay. So I'll, I'll change around the types of marketing, how often I um, hit them, how many touches, what I send them, all of that based on the lead quality that I, I've identified. So like an example, if I did um, high equity, let's call it in the lower tier, right? High yeah. equity, yeah. you would maybe start with like a, a text message service, right? That you'd yeah. send out a text and just get the conversation starting. If they start, maybe it moves them up to a medium level that gets a different type of marketing to go behind it. And if they yep. get to the hot, then you can send even more. Exactly. Okay. That's exactly right. And yeah, and I'll show you how I built out uh, some marketing campaigns too, just on based on those different levels. Um, but that lead quality is so important because, I mean, now you can see that if you're focusing on the hottest leads, yep. your marketing ROI will increase because you're really focusing more of your budget on the most likely people to sell or need to sell. Yeah. Um, so this is the dashboard here. If I scroll down, right, I can see all my overdue tasks, anything that's delayed, and then any upcoming tasks in the next seven days. So I know I need to target them. But even still, you're going to get notifications on any upcoming tasks and overdue tasks. So again, you never forget about a marketing activity because like when I started out and it was just me, when I got a new project under, uh, when I got a new property under contract, I, my focus was on that property. It wasn't looking at the marketing. Yep. So I forget about doing it. And then I'd be like, oh shit, I gotta go back to the, you know, my marketing and start sending that out. So yeah. we're gonna make sure that people don't get into that routine of, you know, forgetting about their marketing. Okay. Um, so again, I'm really just trying to solve really my issues um, as an investor, because it relates to everyone. Like we could keep on talking about how many times it, a struggle with me and you're going to have probably the same exact struggle. Um, so this is kind of the dashboard. Let me just show you the marketing campaign. So you can see here in the marketing campaigns, right? We have different, um, batches. So can you see that? Okay. Do you need me to zoom in at all? Let's see. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah. Let's zoom in. That'd be awesome. Yeah. Here we go. How's that? That works. Better? All right, good. So you can see here, I have high quality leads, medium quality and low quality leads. Um, and you can see the different campaigns that I have set up. 
So my high quality leads where I have handwritten letters followed by a ringless voicemail. Um, and then my marketing campaign, I have a different strategy and so on and so forth, you know, for my low quality leads. Okay. The beauty about this and the thing that I really like is, and it's so small, is that if somebody calls off and says, hey, take me off your list, right? And um, you can see here that I sent out, this was completed, I sent out 3,990 leads. But now over here, you see 3,860 leads, right? That yep. means that I've taken off, um, you know, a Big number difference. of- yeah, I took up a, off a number of leads and marked them as do not, um, do not contact. Okay, they get removed from all future campaigns or activities that you're sending out. So that here's one thing for those listening right now. Um, so many times when we think of profitability, just in general, we're always thinking of most entrepreneurs are thinking rev in, like how much gross rev, how much rev, how much rev, how do you get, keep getting money in, money in, money in. Yeah. And sometimes we forget to think about the money going out. Yes. And so profitability is not about just bringing money in, but it's also lowering how much money mm -hmm. is going out. And this is one way that Justin's explaining here that profitability, like how do we increase our profit margin? Well, it's not just doing more deals. It's also looking at how do we cut yeah. back on expenses. And this is one simple way that, through automation and through technology and through software, it's no longer you trying to do yeah. it, it's doing it for you. Yeah, the, the goal for this, the ultimate goal for this program is to reduce people's time in uh -huh. marketing management, give them a very easy, simple way to see everything that they have. Because I mean, if people are sending mail, ringless voicemail, text messaging, that's three different platforms that they're likely on. Yeah. That's three different platforms they have to manage and figure out how everything works together. Yep. I wanted to provide that easy solution for them. So it's it's reducing their time and increasing their marketing ROI for for just what you said, increasing profitability and reducing expenses. That's right. Give them a better return. That's that was the absolute goal of this this software. Um, what about like when you were talking about um, you get back all the return mail? Yeah. How does that work? I mean, is that something that is an easy process that you're like? I get this return mail and I need to remove them from this list. Is that an easy, easy process? Is it hard? Is it complicated? Or is it no, it's, it's pretty, pretty self-explanatory or is that part of this? Yeah. So there's, there's two ways that you can do it just with this service. So if you, we, we shoot over here to the leads page, we come into the leads page and I mean, you can do a search for their name, but if you just click on their name and say, remove lead, either undeliverable, do not contact, whatever it is, it's going to shoot this lead from the leads page to the removed leads page. Okay. Right. So your leads page is your active leads, the people that you're actively marketing to. Yep. The removed leads page is anybody that you still want in the system, right? Because if you refresh your list, you don't want them to go get back into your marketing. Um, but now they're over here as removed leads. So if that we have, sense. if everybody's here for, you know, do not contact undeliverable. Now what I can do is I can say, all right, show me all of the profit people with the status is undeliverable. And I'm gonna do a little search and I have 85 people. Now I can say select all, update undeliverables. This is going to, once I click on order, it's gonna scrub all those people for wow. new mailing addresses. Wow. And, and then it's gonna, if it finds new mailing addresses, um, what it will do is it will automatically shoot them back into your leads page so you don't but have the new it. but the new address so what it already it? knows this address was undeliverable you yep. send it out and you said 85 for example 85 yep. people you get new address in and then from there it automatically puts them back in the list and tries to hit that new address yep not only does it put them back in the leads list it okay. adds them back to your future marketing campaign so now you don't have to do anything they're back in there Wow. Okay. okay. And, then, and then you can see here, right? The, the address, the mailing address is here. What it does, it doesn't delete the old address because you want to keep that address, right? We have a history tab. And down here, you can see the different undeliverable mailing addresses. Yeah. You have. So you always have the data there. And if it comes back returned again, you can skip trace again and it won't push the same address twice. It'll always look for a new address for you. <laughs> So it's like, it's, it's pretty slick on how I'm, laugh 
<laughs> I'm laughing because of how many years, how many years I wish you would have started this. <laughs> yeah, it's, I wish I got it done sooner. Um, <laughs> there is another way um, to take off your undeliverable mail. Okay. And outside of this platform that we're we're getting ready to push that out at the end of the month. Yep. Um, which you can actually scan the barcode code of your mail. Um, and it automatically comes into here and pushes them out of your active leads into the removed leads. Wait, 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 wait. hold on, hold on. Like, is it something I have to have though? Like, is it like a, like I have to have a product that like swipes it or no. what do you mean like removes it? How do, well, how would that even work? Let me see, let me see if I can, um, let me see if I can get, get there from here. So I'll show you, uh, let's see if I have, yeah, here we go. All right, so let me let me grab a couple pieces of mail and I'll show you exactly how it works. Dude, I love this already. All Keep right. going. <laughs> All right, guys, he's going to grab a couple pieces of mail. What he's saying is when you get that undeliverable, you can click it undeliverable within that software, the Investor Hub software. Or he's saying here in the near future, there's more of an automated way of doing it. And I'm, I'm curious to see what it is. Yeah, so when you have, um, so you have your mail piece here. Okay. See that? Get the freak out of town. That's just like a normal camera on your yeah. on your uh, computer. Yeah, just your webcam, right? It's just on my <laughs> Mac computer. So you're scanning all these these return mail pieces. Yeah. This this one I have set up. I don't have uh, the Investor Hub set up, but there's an once you have Investor Hub, there's another button here, right down below. You, so I can download this as a CSV file. Uh -huh. And all of my undeliverables will be there with property address, mailing address, person's name. Or you can push it to OLM Investor Hub, which will come over to Investor Hub, search for the property address. If the address is in the system, it's going to take it out of the leads page, yep. push it into the remove leads page. Yep. If it's not in the system, it'll create a new lead and push it into remove leads page. So again, all that you have to do is just search for for the undeliverables and then you can skip trace them in like two minutes. Take my money now, Justin, <laughs> take it, take my money. What do you want? So um, yeah, that, that right there, I'm like so excited about. We've been using it for the last couple of weeks in my own business. Man, it saves so much time. That's crazy. So much time. I'm just, I, I'm just laughing because I'm looking at my process and I look like a caveman now. <laughs> like I, I <laughs> whenever I think I'm on like cutting edge, I meet someone like you and I get shut down a little bit. I'm like, son of a gun, I'm not cutting edge anymore. I feel like I'm, I feel like I'm caveman. <laughs> this is awesome. So yeah. that's a process you're saying. That's a service that is not open to to public, but it it will be in the near future. Yeah, uh, either between the, the middle to the end of the month, um, okay. it'll be ready because we just pushed out OLM Investor Hub. We want to focus on this. And then it's already working. It's already set up and ready to go. Um, this service um, will only work for people that go through OL, uh, like open letter marketing for their direct mail. And the reason, why, mail. And the reason why is because the barcode, every t anytime somebody uses our service, we basically have an alphanumeric digit behind this that we need to capture. We can't just use anybody's mail piece. So here's a great co uh, question. Uh, yeah. This system is only for direct mail. Um, yes, this is what he's talking about. It's for the direct mail. So um, I also want to put a plug out for open letter. So we switched over to open letter um, to start testing it and see what it looked like, feel like, uh, sound like, but also to have more of this this automation, this process to yank out some of the headaches that we've always had, but we've just lived with them because we've never known anything else. And so great question. Uh, this is for direct mail. And he, he makes a good point here is uh, these, these services start to talk to each other if you're using them for the direct mail as well. But here's the cool thing, guys, for each one of you on here, um, Justin agreed to do awesome pricing and take care of the tribe and take care of my people. And so that's that uh, that link up above. If you ever need to switch over to those services, know that that link's there. And then I put the password now across the screen because I forgot to put that uh, on there. But the password is just simply REFF. And you'll see the services. That's a portal directly made for the tribe. Mm -hmm. And Justin and his team graciously made that 
for the tribe so they could they could make it a one-stop easy shop um, of all the process in there of all the different direct mail campaigns um, the investor hub that we're really talking about and how he just launched this that was just yesterday that, that was yesterday right? yeah um, what an incredible incredible software that allows you to do so I, I should say that allows that frees up so much your time to get out there and just start doing deals and this takes care of it um, we've been we've been now using this and going through some of these uh, some of these as he's made little changes and things to the process we've been going through it and and kind of loving this whole thing and Janet my operations manager if there's anything that excites her more than anything <laughs> life, it's not pay it's not a raise it's like show me automation show me a new thing that takes like a headache away that show that gains us more time and and this has been it so I, I I freaking love this and and Justin has set it up to where everyone in the tribe gets amazing pricing gets taken care of and it's right here in our own little portal too so yeah. that it can be taken care of yeah and, and I should mention so right now it launched yesterday we're opening uh -huh. the launch period for a week just to let everybody know after the launch uh, happens we're getting we want to get on a hundred users within from yesterday to next week okay um, I think we're gonna hit that pretty soon um, in the next couple of days or so yep um, but the goal is to get hundred people on really focus on user experience make sure everything um, if they have any questions and make sure everything's very easy again one of the biggest goals was to make this easy for everyone so we yeah. want to make sure that it works well for everyone they yeah. understand how to use it so after the launch happens, we're shutting down signups until probably about a month, month and a half until everything's fully optimized. Um, and then we're going to really awesome. push it out. So, That's so awesome. if people sign up, not to kind of throw that out there, but if people sign up, like it's 75% off, it's crazy for the first six months. Um, so I, again, I want to make it a no brainer for yep. people um, because I know how valuable this is. Yep. I don't want it to be about price. Yep. Um, so it's crazy long. A side note, uh, Abraham, um, cost when it comes to direct mail, he also um, he also beat what we were currently using. So he's done something to really to really wow all of us, which has been which has been awesome. And by the way, grateful for that's been that's been huge, Justin. Just talking to you and seeing how much you're willing to serve uh, my community, my tribe. That it's been, it's been. I'm, I'm grateful for that. That's yeah. been awesome. So Abraham, if that answers your question, the direct mail cost is also. He's been, he's been able to uh, get that price to exactly what we needed it to be at for the tribe. Yeah, um, yeah. And, and my big thing too, like I want to, I want to provide you guys with value, right? If you have questions, right. strategy questions, whatever it is, that's where, like, I always talk to my sales and marketing people. They know what I do in my business. Yeah. So we can, we know. When you send out a direct mail piece, when people ask, how long after do I send out a ringless voicemail? We can tell them how long, what to say in the uh, ringless voicemail, yeah. um, what time to send it gets a better response. Like we know, understand why and how it works because we're doing it. That's um, what I love. That's yeah. what I love. It's no longer just a mail house, third party mail house. Yeah. This is 100% an investor working it in the trenches yeah. as well. Like he is an investor, so he knows what's working and he's bringing that data. He's bringing that knowledge to us at the tribe. Um, and, and one thing I just wanted to press on real quick is um, the software we've been using it. It's incredible. Janet's like smiling from ear to ear. But the other thing is, um, like he said, there's he's only going to take on the first hundred users. And I'm assuming between the next couple of days, that'll be done. And then he'll shut it off for about a month and a half because yep. Justin cares about his people. He Absolutely. cares about his clients to make sure that they're having an incredible amount. So he doesn't just want to flood the gates with 500 users. Now he really wants to make the 100 go through. And he's already been doing this, by the way. This is not like a beta testing. Beta testing yeah. is done. <laughs> this is now just making customer experience, make sure he has everything dialed in. And I respect that. I respect people that are willing to serve and love their clients to make sure they have a great experience and then open it up um, to, to more. So if you're looking to remove some of that headache, guys, um, for the next couple of days, you could just go in. Can they go in through this portal that's up above that I have in the link and then yeah. enter in that password uh, REFF? Yep, they can go through that portal and they'll get all the different um, products and services that we have and OLM Investor Hub is in there. Yep, um, yep. 
So and you can learn, by the way, guys, you can go in that portal and just start learning in general. You'll see all the different mail pieces. You can see how slick it is. Instead yeah. of emailing a company and getting an email back, you just upload the list. <laughs> when I say easy, you literally upload the list, do a drop down that says batch mailing, and then you drop down yeah. and say, how often do you want it to go out? Every week, because you guys know me, it's not every two weeks, it's not every three weeks, even though those are options. <laughs> Never. Marketing goes out weekly, so every single week, and then you just submit. It's it's that easy. It it is the easiest, slickest software. And so for those that are looking to take some of the headache out and some of that pain yeah. out, yeah. go go learn about it and go go click around in there. Um, again, the links up above, but also look at uh, you got to type in a password. Forgive me for not adding in there. So the password's R E F F. But Justin, take it away. Um, yeah. So once they uh, once they log into your portal, they'll see all the services and everything like that. And, and we really put all of the, you know, the the best products that are working the best for you know people around the country and myself. Yeah. Um, because again, I test up, and and it's the stuff that I'm testing that hasn't even come to market yet that I'm like excited to share with you guys and show you because we're always testing new things because I always want to be a step ahead of my competition. Sure. And it excites me when I when I get there. Yeah. Uh, so whether that's different lead lists that I purchase or different mail pieces. I mean, I love this stuff. Um, I can talk about it all day, so I love sharing it. Well, is there anything else you'd want them to know um, besides just get in there, play around in the portal? Um, Investor Hub, it, it, it is said, I, it should just sell o OLM Investor Hub, and that's the yep. one they click on, right? Yes. Yes. And guys, that's just opened up for a short time for the next couple of days. He's only looking for 100 users. So if you're looking to be part of that first 100 and get in there and relieve, your headaches so you don't have to take advil anymore you just realize that it has always been marketing management that has added that stress and that pressure to your brain um then head on over there incredible product we're using ourselves um and i'm grateful that you would jump on with us and share this and i don't know if you have any more to share or if you feel like that was it but i want to know this i mean there's incredible. there's so many more things to the system i mean i could go in so many more different areas i mean you can do fulfillment right in here. You can purchase lead lists. You can purchase direct mail right from here. Yep. Skip tracing, scrubbing undeliverables, um, DNC and litigators list. I mean, there's tons of stuff that you can do in addition to what we just went over. Guys, yeah. I think this suffices to say that this does take off even more than what he's saying, but already just the two, three, four points that he's pointing out is already enough to go take a look at it and uh and and go uh go invest some time into looking into this and then ultimately like he said skip tracing it's really like it's turned into this one-stop shop for for us yeah. at uh utah cell now like for my for my my wholesale brand um it's turned into a one-stop shop our skip tracing our direct mail our our lead management um crm all of this stuff yeah. is right here in this portal that you can learn more about and uh, I'm grateful, Justin, that you'd be on here to share some time with, the, with my people, with my tribe. And uh, guys, I hope this has been good. If so, I want you to hit that heart button, hit that like button, because Justin took a lot of time out of his day to do this when yesterday he just launched this. I'm sure there's more important things <laughs> he could be doing, and I'm sure there's other things that are pulling at his time right now. Um, so, Justin, thank you so much for being on here. Oh, thanks so much for having me on. Okay, guys, head on over. Again, that link is up above. In fact, I'm going to post it on there real quick again. So right here, go over to www.openlettermarketing.com forward slash ref. And once you do that, it's going to ask for a password. The password is R E F. F. So hopefully that makes sense to you guys. You'll go into here, click on the link, that link up above. Once it goes in, it'll ask for the password. Here it is. Go learn more, go play around. And if you're ready to take the headache out of managing your marketing, click on that investor hub because the first hundred are going to be uh, put into this first, like, first group. And then he shuts it down for about a month and a half. So now's the time to act. Imperfect action. Changing life is all about taking fast action. And so this is the time to go in there and just act. Love you guys. Hope this has been a blessing to you guys. Hopefully this has been a relief like it was for me when Justin called me. And uh, again, Justin, thank you so much. Thank you, Cody.
All right. Take care, guys.